Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for season 4 episode 16 of One Tree Hill. This time the title of the episode is You Call It Madness, But I Call It Love. And whew, guys, this had to be the first reaction that I do today because that ending, and yet it's still very late right now, and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to like fully scream like I want to, like my soul is asking me to scream since yesterday, but I cannot find another time on the day that I can sit and just enjoy my show, so you guys will have to apologize. I, I, you have to forgive me for, well, am I asking forgiveness for not screaming? I don't know, maybe. Uh, but you guys will have to forgive my restraint, which it won't be much, you know, so anyways. We'll see how it goes, okay? If someone wakes up, then too bad. It's not that late, you know, it's 10, uh, 25 p.m. So, yeah, well, a little bit late. Anyway, so, <sighs> the episode ended with one of the most horrific, on uh, one of the most horrific ways. You guys know how much I love Peyton. I don't know how many times I have to say it. I think that you guys are tired by now of me saying how much I love Peyton Sawyer. But the thing is, I love her so much. And like at the end I was like, oh my God, there's Lucas. And then nope, dying Lucas. And that's, that's, that's psycho Derek. Ah! And he punched her. He punched her. And like, I cannot, I cannot, I seriously cannot take this anymore because this season is like, you know, did you know that, 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 uh, um, that thing that Peyton has in her room so she can beat them up? It feels like Peyton is that for the writers, you know, they, oh my God, like, can you leave her alone for a second? Like, just for a second, okay? Anyway, so we are here. We are ready. I am ready to watch episode 16 of this season. We have 21 episodes, right? So we have five more episodes to go. I might do uh, two next week and then three the following week, something like that, so we can, you know, finish season three, season four sooner. Uh, but I am very excited. In this few episodes, I feel like they are going to be insane, you know? So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for everything that is to come, you know, and I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys continue supporting for more. So please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. Probably by the time I'm posting this on YouTube, I'm already done with season four and like on season five or season six, whatever. So go and check it out. Link will be in the description down below. And I know it takes me forever to... Oh, it took me forever to post a reaction on, on YouTube. I'm going to do better, I promise. It's just that I have a lot of things to do. Like, my day is really busy. Like, you guys have to understand that, like, it's 10, 20, 8 p.m. And right now is the only time I can sit, sit back and relax and do reactions. It's insane, okay? But anyways, it, it doesn't really look like I'm on quarantine anymore because I have a lot of things to do around the house and with Josh and with... <laughs> insane anyway so i hope you guys enjoy hope you guys continue supporting supporting and without further ado let's just begin with season four episode 16 of one tree hill here we go <laughs> god is, is he gonna think that he's going to go back later the one time you're not gonna just go in please lucas like seriously this boy has no restriction, restriction, how do you say it? Rest, restrictions, right? Before, he just walks in into the house, always shows up at, at, at Peyton's, like, room, you know? And now he's gonna be like, knock, knock, knock. The one time you don't, oh, I'm so pissed right now. I'm stressed, I'm, I'm stressed. Lucas, you're so, oh my God. Hey. I would never give up on you that easily. Oh my god. Jimmy, yeah, because you're a psycho. Oh no, what is he gonna do to my pain? No, please. Please no, please no. Please no, I'm begging you. I'm begging everyone. Please no, please. God, I don't like this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. So, uh... They look so cute. Off, I swear if they have another car accident, because they are immortal to 
to car accidents by now, but if they have another car accident, I'm going to murder people. Well, at least everything will be perfect tonight. Oh, don't even. Oh, I swear to God. What happened? You gotta stop saying that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell happened now? Turner needs anything. <laughs> I love the way it's like, I have my eyes on you, bitch. I really do. Maybe it's the, the thing in the jig. <laughs> he doesn't know anything Can I about cars. Call Lucas now? <laughs> yeah, I'll just walk there and call for a ride, I guess. You can stay. No. no. Thank you. A pregnant girl in a prom dress with a broken down car is how urban legends get started. Out. Exactly. Exactly. Your leg. Is she going to stay? Oh my god. Oh my child, my poor baby. How is anyone going to find her? Like how? No one even knows she's in danger. I'm the only one who knows right now. Oh, I am so stressed. I am so stressed out. I don't need it. I didn't need this. Oh, good. You're probably wondering how I got out of jail. I am wondering that, yes. We're just calling to let you know we have your stalker in custody. <gasps> oh, he lied. Oh my God. And you guys didn't, didn't, you know, decided to go and check if the bitch was actually locked. <gasps> I am stressed. They're teenagers. They're stupid. They're allowed to be stupid, but not about this. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. Can someone shoot this bitch? Can someone shoot this bitch already? Think about what went wrong with us last time. <laughs> the fact that you're a psycho? A girl probably. Like you. Everybody's having a good time. Well, not Lucas probably, but like everyone else is having a good time. Well, my Peyton's suffering right now. How can life be this unfair? I guess she's not going. Are you going to go and try to find her? Brooke, this is your time, girl. I want to murder this you know, bitch. Smile, Peyton. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Just think, I couldn't have done this a month ago. Maybe I just would have spent a lot more time on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> So cute, it's adorable. <laughs> it's like I have like, <laughs> and then I'm like, oh my god, in pain. I hate this with all my soul. I hate this. I have to watch it though. That's a bad thing. I have to watch this. I have to go through this. Pain, do you have a ship? What, what is it that you have there? Oh, your phone. I thought you had like a razor blade or something. Are oh, you so stupid, baby? Who is calling? Oh, Rachel. What are you gonna do, expel me? <laughs> Stop it. Don't make me call the police. Who's with me? Oh, no. Is Mouth going to go? I'm coming with you. Of course you are. Expect a call from my lawyer about the sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> what is that note? Does your day know you murder her fiance? Who's that letter? Oh my god, it was a handwriting. Writing. Writing. Why? I made it from your podcast. <gasps> oh, sweet. God, so this is a Peyton remix or something. Thought. I don't want to watch this. I am in too much pain. I am in too much pain, and I know I shouldn't be even screaming because, you know, everybody's asleep out there, but like, I do not care. <sighs> I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm stressed. This is so disgusting. I hate you this. That, Peyton. You belong to me. Peyton, you have to fight. Go up to your bedroom. Oh my god. So he's planning on raping her. Oh Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Peyton, you need to like you know? Is that a modicon too much, you think? Oh my god, oh, this freaking hell? bitch. So he's going to know that it's not her, right? <gasps> You're so stupid, Lucas. I know, I know. She, I know he doesn't have much to like, to doubt this. But like, can I say that I want to die right now? <laughs> I have to be strong for my child. I need to see that she's going to be okay. Great. Thank you. She really does. Definitely not. Oh. Okay. I think I the test. Okay. <laughs> Sit down. Look at him taking care of her. What? What is? Who's that bitch? 
Who's that bitch? Just look at, at, at Haley like she was a snack. Who is who is he? I need answers. You spiked the punch? Dude, Come here. it's prom. Dude. My wife's pregnant, you idiot. Dude, it's prom. But it's prom. It's okay. It's okay. Nathan's so protective of her. Dude. Yeah, it's prom. Yeah. <laughs> you need to relax. I bet you wish nobody was watching you. He was being a creepo. Are they in the basement? On her basement? Uh, did I just saw the lights? Look. So, th those lights are the same ones that it's on... So, he's there? Brooke, tell me how I like a god inside of that purse. The one time? Like, everyone who knows Peyton should know that if the doors are locked, something is happening because she never locks her doors. See? Oh my god! That, that really scared me! Like, this fucking psycho! This fucking psycho! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Now my other girl is in trouble! I'm coming down anyway. I'm so glad you're here, but like... Did you know, like, I don't know, something so you can find? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! about to like kick him in the nuts or something oh god please tell me like rachel and mouth are, are going to say oh maybe she was going to Peyton's, you know let's go and pick them up and you know they can like grab him and kill him it just makes me think about shelly oh, okay just All stop right, with the shelly thing her eyes her smile those the fact that she told you she wanted to she didn't want to have sex but yet you you know convince her and then kind of like only thought about your feelings. Those little freckles on the small. The clean team gave it up. Nice this is, work. This is not good. This is not good. Can he stop? Can he stop? Like, I'm I'm not trying to be mean, okay? Because I like mouth. But the fact is that, like, he's like, no, but we love each other. He knows. If he really cared about her, he knew that, you know, what clean teens mean to her? And how this is not good. And he should have respect her. And he should have even respect her right now by not telling anyone that they had sex. Okay? Yes, I know Skills saw them. But he could have said, Skills, you know, man, just shut it. Because, like, she doesn't feel comfortable with people, say, like, knowing this. So just let it be, okay? Because you are just pushing it, mouth. I don't like this. I don't like this. I want to get Shelly back. Except that. <laughs> is nuts. And this is coming from a girl who has seen a lot of nuts. <laughs> oh no my way. god, Rachel. You're making me jealous. Yeah, sure, sure she is. Why don't you walk me through the things you can remember? Yeah. Maybe it'll help to talk it through. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. Maybe the position yeah. of the bodies were not matching or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you scream, oh my god, oh my god. This is so painful. Yeah, you really can't hear the screams. Who knows, Whitey? I don't think he can text that fast. So you told someone you were coming? No. Oh, Jesus. At least I came. Oh, uh, come on. Peyton, don't be mean, okay? How will she know? Oh, man, tell people maybe, you know, Peyton got herself kidnapped again. Hold somebody, bitch. I hope he kills you first. That's a good idea. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't say this, this, this. Like, are you guys, like, both of you, can you guys put perspective, perspective into what is happening and, like, actually say, you know what, we be friends. Let's just cook up some type of, like, like, you know, something that we can do to stop this bitch and save ourselves, you know? You know, women empowerment and all that shit. I don't need them to be calling each other names, I swear. I. Oh, God, I'm so stressed right now. Oh, my God. Don't, 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 don't. I don't hate her. I was she, outside today. She doesn't hate her. She doesn't, she doesn't hate her. Stop it. Please stop it. 
Please stop it. Brooke that she was official. No, 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 no. I'm gonna hurt her. Yeah, that, that ain't it. Oh my God. <laughs> She's gonna be okay. She's going to be okay. She is going to be okay. They are going to be okay. Repeat after me. They're going to be okay. Oh my God. Who am I talking to? Oh my God. You guys might think I'm I'm crazy. I swear I'm not. I am a really like calm person in like, real life. <sighs> this is real life actually. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm really stressed. <sighs> oh god. I don't want him to hurt my girl, my, my Brooke. You know she she might not. You know you guys know Peyton's my child. She's like this little thing. Like I have her like right there. But then you have Brooke, who I like. I might adopt after tonight. As much as <gasps> she hurt you. No, stop it! Let me do it. <gasps> oh, she's playing you. She's playing him. This is my chance for revenge. You. Do you think I'm gonna think that like, out of nowhere she turned into like Villanelle or something? No, my girl is playing him so she can save Brooke and kick his ass or die trying. Oh my God, die trying. No, why did I say that? No, she's not gonna die. She's not gonna die. She's not a lesbian. She's gonna die. She's risking it all for Brooke. Brooke, just don't say anything sarcastic or anything that would trigger him, okay? Just like, keep quiet. She has a plan. She has a plan. I... <laughs> oh my god, my Peyton. God, that felt good. <laughs> oh my god, Peyton, don't, don't, don't overdo it, okay? Oh my god. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking is at all but i think Peyton has a plan i trust i i i, I believe in Peyton. i don't i don't think she went dark like that no, that's not Peyton. i know my Peyton. i know what i have raised okay i know my child the knife. i'm gonna finish this bitch off oh my god this is so stressful the fact that she has to do this to save herself stop him and stop him and stop him all this time she said I was a backstabbing bitch. <gasps> you had no idea how right you were. <laughs> oh, bang, bang. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I'm sorry. Yeah, go! Just be careful! He's moving! Just get out of here! No, 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 she's not gonna leave you. So disappointing. Oh, bet. Hurry up! What the fuck are you guys doing? I think I'll kill you first. Oh, God. Come on, Brooke, you can do it, you can do it! But on some level, I knew it was true. Of course, of course. But I'm not really, I'm, I'm like, I'm right now, I'm not really up for, like, memory lane and all that shit. Because I am really concerned about Brooke and Peyton right now. <laughs> come on, come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. Where the fuck is Peyton? Oh, well, she never locks it, so why will she start now? Do you have a bat? With like spikes in it, you know, a la Negan. You forgot to lock it. I didn't forget. Oh! She's she's she's. She's. I love the fact that she's so extra that she even put on her gloves. I love this. Oh yes, yes, thank you, yes. I think he likes this. This bitch. You've been training. Oh yes. Yes, Peyton. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. Oh my, oh my god. Dude, you're losing blood. Do you think blood is gonna rush, like, down? Oh my god. Oh yes! Yes! You go, you go, prick! Oh! Go, go, both of you! Oh! Oh my god! What is this? What is this? Oh, I love that they want to keep getting, kicking his ass. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, I love this. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh my god. Push him! Push him! Oh! Yes! Please tell me this nightmare is over. Oh my god. My two queens. My two queens. <laughs> I don't like the violence. I'm very stressed out about it, you know? I'm, I'm like, but like, I feel like I'm gonna process this and I'm gonna see how badass they have been. Even though it's kind of extra that she actually put the gloves on, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let that go. But like, whew, they're so strong and like, this is what I needed, you know? They're saving each other, you know? 
girl power. I love this. Hated fun with that. They always lunch. Oh my god. Just kick him again. Just to be sure. I told you. Thank God. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Give me five minutes. What? What? No, 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 no. No, no, Brooke, don't give her five minutes. I think she has, she has a concussion or something. Go out. Oh, God. Okay, everything else was self-defense. Just stop, baby, baby. Oh, my God. I don't like this. Oh, my God. Oh, they really beat that crap out of him. I'm so happy that they are okay. Traumatized, probably, but okay. You were right. All those things that I said about your mom. No, we both said a lot of things today. No, but it's okay. It's okay if Brooke wants to apologize. She was really in the wrong with that. And I think that, you know, I have always said that she has a big heart and, like, it's time for her to show it. So let her Besides apologize. To come right now. And I guess now it's hoes over psychos. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that she can make you. Oh. In fact, she can make you laugh, right? Oh, bless. Prom. Mm -hmm. I can't believe they're going to actually. They're actually going to go to prom. You're gonna break a lot of hearts, Mouth McFest. He sure will. The last 17 years, I've been pretending that choice didn't break my heart. I, Karen, you went stupid when you got pregnant. I'm really. I cannot tolerate this shit. Like, I am so sorry, but like, I could understand a friendship. I could understand a friendship, you know? Because at the end of the day, he is Lucas's dad. So I can understand a friendship from afar, okay? I could understand that. But like, the fact that they are, they are romantically getting involved, and like, I'm like, Karen, did you forgot what he did to Deb? Have you seen Deb? Have you forgot everything he did to your fiance, the one that you are currently pregnant of? I know he did, okay, but like, still, you know? And I wasn't his biggest fan, but I still think that this sucks, okay? And that the fact that I, probably he's rolling his grave right now from pain. Because, like, Karen, wake up. Like, seriously, shut up. It's not impossible. It should be. We won't use it. <laughs> oh. Oh. <Aww. Wow>, <laughs> How can they be? Like, with Naily, the thing with Naily is like, there's an episode and you are like, how can they be so perfect? Like, there's nothing more perfect than this. And then next episode, they're there being even more perfect than they were before. And like, you just keep adding perfection to the ship. It's just... So beautiful. Naily's everything to me. Nothing compares. I'm sorry, Mouth and Rachel. Just you guys can disappear because nothing compares to them. You want to come with me? What? I can. I it's just dangerous. And I am dangerous. Yes, yeah, sure, Mouth. You're. I'm coming with you. Oh, you're not gonna graduate? <laughs> He's so stupid that he puts the glasses on. No. So it's you. What do you mean? I keep feeling like he's trying to tell me something. We already had this conversation, son. Open your eyes. How? To what? The fact that he was he's there. Luke. The fact that what? That he was standing by the door and then he showed up in the other side of the school? Facing the other way from him? <gasps> there is a witness! There is a witness! Who the hell is that one? The good guys could have changed. I'm so happy that they're there, though. Brooke Davis! Yeah, she's covering blood. Yeah. <gasps> oh, it is. It's her. Oh my god. <gasps> there was someone else. Awesome. Okay, because I was gonna say, like, what? There was a phone recording? or an audio or something like that. Okay guys, so that was the end of season four, episode 16 of One Tree Hill. 
Like, I was not expecting this, okay? Uh, well, actually, I was expecting a lot of screams, but I was expecting also, like, this uh, romantic thing with Lucas saving Peyton again and all of that, but they surprised me, and for the better, you know, because you guys know that I've been saying over and over again that I want more girl power on the show, you know, that I love the dynamic between, you know, the friends, Nathan and, and Brooke, or, I don't know, Haley and, 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 and Lucas, you know, all of those dynamics are amazing, and I love the fact that some of them, you know, they are not sexualized, and it's not like, oh, maybe there's something there, or maybe, no, it's just straight up friendship, you know, and I love that, because often at time, every time, two characters, a male and female character, interact. They are like, oh my god, they're meant to be together. I know that I am like that with the straight, with the gay ships, but trust me, there are less straight, like, less gay ships than there are straight ones, okay? But the thing is that, um, I am glad that they do this, and that is partially why I was kind of upset th with the whole Brooke and, and Nathan thing. I didn't want that to happen, but, you know, because Previously, I was saying, oh, that's so good about the friendship, and then they slept together, you know. But anyways, it's no longer anything like that anymore, you know. So, like I said, I'm happy. I like that. I think that it's very positive to have those types of representation uh, in terms of, like, good uh, non-toxic friendships. I like that, you know. But I also wanted, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't want some, you know, girl power. And we had that. We had it on this episode, you know, and it was very badass, even though I don't know if I was able to fully enjoy it. I think I'm going to like rewatch that that sequence again because I was just too stressed and I was like, oh, my God, he's just going to get up and he's going to kill them and he's going to do something to Peyton or to Brooke. And like, I'm going to lose one of them or one of them is going to go into a coma or something tragic will happen. But no, thankfully Nothing bad happened to them. Well, other than the Trump going through that traumatic experience, I am glad that, um, you know, it was Brooke who came into her rescue, who helped her, and who, you know, believed in her when she was like, telling Derek all these things about, I love you, baby, and, like, you and I, and, like, all that shit, and I love that she just took it, you know, even the slaps and the, and the, and the uh, punch, she just took it, you know, because she believed that Peyton was going to save her, you know, and that speaks volumes. I mean, they have been at each other, let's be real, they have not been the best friends with each other, they have lied to each other, they have, you know, Peyton did cheat with uh, Lucas, and they have betrayed her and everything, you know, Peyton to Brooke and Brooke to Peyton, so they have not been the perfect example of, like, friendship, you know, female friendship, but I think that since they are very young and they will make mistakes, it is good that we have seen them at their lowest, you know, and that we can see the relationship grow. Because that is truly what I want. I really want a true friendship between them. You know, something along the lines with Rachel and, and Brooke. But with a bigger connection. Because they do know each other for the longest time. And they have been friends. And go through a lot of things together as well. So I was hoping for that. So this moment, I think, just... it. This moment marks that... Uh, end of that toxic relationship, friendship that they had. And, you know, it, it can open a new chapter for both of them to understand the, each other's point and to be there for each other and to trust each other because Brooke trusted Peyton. She knew Peyton wasn't going to, like, hurt her, not really hurt her, you know? And that she somehow might have a plan, you know? And I love that. I love that the communication, like, that one went unspoken and she just trusted her, you know? And I like that. I like that because oftentimes I have said they really don't seem like they know each other for that long, you know, because they always fight. But that moment just really puts in perspective the fact that they do know each other, for a long time, they know how the other will act and they know 
truly who the other person is. Peyton knew that that Brooke will understand that she was doing this to try to save them both. You know, she knew that. She knew that that she c could count on her to make that little you know uh, thing go. You know, and for them to have a chance to escape. Uh, and I'm glad, you know, and, and vice versa, you know, Brooke knew she wasn't going to really hurt her, you know. So I'm happy. I'm happy about that. Of course, I'm not happy that they had to go through this trauma traumatic experience to actually bond. But I think, you know, I'm going to take progress from when it comes, you know. I was really stressed. I was like so stressed about the fact that Derek was here, the fact that they never caught him and the fact also that the police didn't even like actually call her for like follow up or that they ne never went to see is he really l locked no they just took it for granted not for granted but like they just believe in what the guy said and just went with it uh i mean i guess they didn't have reasons to to believe otherwise you know um but holy hell it was an exciting episode but like I said, I did like that something good came out of it, you know. Um, also, I might have been, I might been a little bit too harsh on, on on mouth, and I have to keep repeating myself that this is written written prior to the whole Me Too movement, the fact that more women are speaking out and like you know about all this change. I do. I'm glad that most of the storylines on One Tree Hill have aged very well, you know, some of them, most of them have aged really well in the sense of, like, they are not problematic, but that one thing that Mouth did, it, it is very problematic, you know, and something that right now it wouldn't pass, you know, and I'm happy that we're making progress, you know, that you watch shows from, like, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and, like, there are things that they shouldn't have done and things that now people will not take it, you know? And I'm glad because everything that happened with, with Mouth and Shelly or Shelby, whatever her name was, it's just wrong, you know? It is wrong because, you know, you have on one side, you have Brooke who was able to respect, respect Chase's choice of being a clean teen and what it meant for him and Brooke respected him you know and I don't I just hate the fact that Mouth is the one who didn't respect that from the girl he claims to love the girl he's so in love with so much in love with that he's going to jump on a plane and go to, on vacation and lose graduation lose everything just to go with this girl and I'm like you sure have a funny way of showing how much you love someone, you know? And the fact that he keeps saying, yeah, I have sex with Shelly. And the fact that, you know, it's, it's putting her, like, he doesn't care how much clean teens mean for Shelly, you know? And, like, you could say, oh, well, but Shelly, Shelly or Shelby, I don't know her name. She was being a, a hypocrite because, you know, she was preaching something and doing the opposite. Yeah, but the thing is that she should have found a person like Brooke, not saying in terms of like, like gender or anything, but like someone like, like Brooke who respects her choice of not having sex and not push her and not, you know, make her feel guilty. Why is it you don't want to be with me? You know, you know, all those things. And then after she realizes she makes a mistake, the guy just keeps saying, but it was good. Like the fact that we have sex, I just lost my virgin and everything was supposed to be about him and everything is supposed to be about him about how much he's hurt about how like you did it i mean you got it with the virgin like good good for you like celebrating that i'm glad that nowadays that wouldn't wouldn't pass and i know i'm being too harsh on mouth but in a way i feel like it's good that we have this change you know um because honestly I, and i hate that they did it with mouth out of all the people, like, I feel like Mouth is one of the most decent, respectful persons out there, especially if a girl's feeling, and what he did, and, like, the fact that he doesn't see it for what he did, or that the writers don't put it in the way that it is, it's just, like, 
they will have been like, I believe they will have been slut shaming Brooke if she did the same thing with Chase. They will be like, I don't think people will tolerate it. But with Mouth, it's because he's cute and like he has a cute smile. It's fine. It's not, you know, so I'm not liking that, you know, I hope that, you know, with the passing, you know, of the episode, we're going to move away from that and just, you know, uh, forget it. Um, and we're going to see another side of, of him, but hopefully they don't bring back the Shelly, Shelby storyline, because honestly, it just made him look, look bad, you know? Um, yeah. Also, uh, the whole thing with, with Karen, I'm so stressed out. I'm like so stressed out because Karen, like, are you really telling me like you, you were very much in love with, with Keith, you know, and you are telling me that for the past 17 years, you actually wanted to be with Dan, the man who rejected you, who like have put you through hell and like, girl, like I need to like slap Karen, even though she's pregnant, she deserves a slap. So maybe she will wake up, you know, I really feel that way. Um, also there goes all, uh, all or crazy theories or mine crazy theory one that it was that somehow uh, Keith was alive and he was the one putting the messages because up until tonight we didn't know uh, who else could have seen it so we only had two choices Jimmy's alive or Keith is, Keith is alive You know, because who was leaving the messages? Who saw it? Like, we were led to believe no one was there during that particular moment. So, if no one was there, um, how will someone know about it? So, I was like, oh, maybe Keith is alive and they're going to pull up pre liars. Well, I think this confirms that he isn't and that actually, you know, it was this girl who saw what happened, you know, and who's going to... Uh, I think eventually come forward because she's sending, you know, the, the death message to him. And I was like, wait, he, he's, she's, whoever it is, is texting. He cannot be whitey. You know, he's a little bit too old to be texting and all that, you know? So, and it was a girl, you know, it was a young girl who was in the office parallel to where everything happened. And she saw it happening, you know? And I'm, I'm thinking that maybe she was afraid to speak out Or maybe she blocked it. We don't know how trauma works, you know. So, but I'm guessing that he, she will be able to, um, out, to to talk to Lucas, you know, because Lucas was like, nah, something might must have happened, and like something, someone must have seen something, and like his subconscious. And now we can confirm that it was his subconscious as Keith telling him, wake up and wake up. Because at one point I was like, wait, is he actually alive? But no, it was his subconscious and, you know, uh, he, he did, you know. Uh, but at least I feel like you, we're going to have a witness and will it happen or not? Will he go to prison or not? Is yet, is yet to be seen, you know. Um... Then we have the most perfect couple on the show, Naily. Just being Naily, and it was just so... They are so... Like, what else can I say about them? About how perfect they are for each other. It's just incredible. The the, the level of chemistry, and, and it's just... I just... My heart can take it, you know? Because he... They are, they are so precious. They are... They are so precious and I, I just love them so much, you know, and like no one, no one can compare. Like even if you gave me that, you know, fade out when he was carrying her and dancing and you gave me that fade out, like fade out, fade in of like Naily and then Mouth and Rachel do not compare. Like they do not. Like I'm sorry for Mouth and Rachel, who I kind of like now a little bit more, but like just move away like no like the only ones who can dare to say that we'll have like an epic love story could be Layden you know Peyton and, and Lucas but the rest just please kindly 
get out, you know. Hopefully Brooke does find someone uh, that will love and care for her the same way the other characters uh, uh, have that, uh, that significant other, you know. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it happens soon. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not going to leave her um, single for the rest of the series, okay? So yeah. Um, but like I said, this was a great episode. It was a great episode. It was scary. And you know what? One of the things that I didn't... That they didn't do well, I guess. I don't know. Not not, not so much, I think. It's just because since I love Peyton, I was really much more interested on what was happening with Peyton and then what was happening to Brooke and Peyton than I was for, you know, all the other storylines. I was really concerned. So I was really detached from the main storyline because I wanted to focus on the safety of the two queens. Also, the fact that it is so badass and it speaks volumes about how much growth also uh, uh, Peyton has that, you know, first of all, she decided, I'm not going to be a victim anymore. Na, 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 na. She put on her gloves. She, she was like, bitch, I'm gonna I'm a fight you. I'm gonna fight you, bitch. I'm gonna fight you, okay? I love that she went ex the extra man. She actually put the gloves like the the god like whatever it is on and instead of like going out of the house and actually start screaming on the top of her lungs that you know there's a psycho inside of my house no she was like bitch do it like bitch do it you know uh that was really fun um but yeah it was crazy but it was fun um and I like the fact that, you know, it speaks volumes, like I said, about the fact that she's so much more secure. She's not a victim anymore, you know, and she didn't want to be a victim. So she fought him and, and, and won. And also the fact that, you know, she, you know, uh, cleans her face, puts her hair a little bit better. And even if she's bloody, as a fucking survivor, she shows up at prom and she's like, He's not going to ruin my experience, my night. It's not going to happen. I'm going to go. And she went with Brooke. And at the exact moment where Brooke won uh, to be a uh, prom queen, I loved it. Can you call Peyton to be prom king? Because why not? Um, I would love it. If they vote Chase and they make them like bond again, I wouldn't be mad, to be honest. But it was really funny. It was really fun. It was really funny. It was really fun and amazing to see them arrive together, holding hands and like, you know, getting closer. I love it. That I love that. I'm here for the, what is that ship? Friendship, not ship, but friendship ship name for Brooke and Peyton. Brayton? Bro I don't know. Tell me. Not, not in a ship way, but like for the friendship. Uh, cause honestly, it was amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Uh, and so powerful, you know, so, so powerful. The show doesn't have this big female powerful moments, but when they do, they do it right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this episode was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. And I cannot wait to watch the next ones because we have this 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. I already said that we have five. I don't know why I just counted. But we have five more episodes to go. Uh, probably a binge is coming so I can finish season four because honestly, I feel like I should just binge the show. Right? I deserve it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys, everyone, when I posted the, the uh, schedule and I posted one reaction for this week, everyone was like, she's not going to be able to hold it and she's going to watch episode 16. And I was like, what do you guys think that I have no self-control? Because I was, I was thinking that when I was reading your messages. I didn't answer, you know, because I sometimes don't have the time. But I was like, I have self-restraint. People are wrong. And then look at me. <laughs> uh, I love the fact that you guys knew that with that ending, with Peyton getting hurt, it was not going to take much for me to do the other episode, like, right away. So, yeah. You guys, you guys won. What can I say? But next, next week, I'm probably going to do a binge because I cannot hold on. I can't. I can't. I have no self-restraint. I have no self-control, especially when it comes to One Tree Hill. I am currently obsessing about One Tree Hill 
because I just, you know, want to binge more episodes. And I'm also obsessing with Killing Eve. Like, those are the shows that are in on... T <gasps> but no, you know what other show I want to watch right away? Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's another show. And Lucifer as well. Oh, my God. Anyways, pretty much all the shows. <gasps> and The Magicians. I want to be back with The Magicians so they can, like... You know? <laughs> I don't know what they do, but they do those things. And it's really funny and amazing. Um... Yeah, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys continue to support for more. Give a lot of thumbs up. If you love One Tree Hill, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go to Patreon to watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. By the time I'm posting this on YouTube, I'm already on season five or six. Who knows? Go and check it out. Link will be in the description down below. And you can, like, right now, if you join right now, you can binge the entire third, four, like, since season one. I have done uncut reactions in season one so go and check it out link like it says in the description down below and if you're already on patreon give it a heart and give yourself like a you know good uh, uh how you say it at a boy or at a girl you know because you were you guys were right i was not going to be going to be able to hold on and next week i'm probably not going to be able to hold on so we are gonna do the next five episodes all together on a binge because i cannot i can't i just can't you cannot blame me. This show is that good. Like, if this was Riverdale, I would be like, I cannot take it. I cannot take more than one episode per week for Riverdale <laughs> or for Supergirl. You know, now, for Supergirl, sometimes I take it because of Supercore. But for other shows, I'm like, <laughs> one a week, it's okay. Okay, that's it. I, don't, I cannot take more. Okay? But with this one, I'm like, I just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Uh, you guys know that. Anyways. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys continue supporting for more. And I'll reset thumbs up, all that. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for One Tree Hill. That's it. Bye, guys. Bye.